A further problem for market-based production of goods and services is that of public goods. Public goods are not goods provided by the public sector. They're not defined by the ownership of the resources used to produce them, but by certain characteristics that these goods produce. And there are two important features that we look at. The first is non-rivalness, and the second is non-excludability. Let's take the first one, non-rivalness. It's in the nature of most goods that are produced that we are rivals for its consumption. If you wear the pair of trousers, I can't. If you eat the apple, I can't. Some things are by nature non-rival. Here we are in the Natural History Museum. We're not rivals for its consumption in the sense that if I look at the exhibits, so can many other people as well. So the Natural History Museum is a non-rival good. The paintings in an art gallery, you can stand before the painting and admire it, but it doesn't prevent me from admiring it also. We're not rivals for its consumption. Similarly, a playground. You can enjoy the slides and the swings, but so can I. We're not rivals. Street lighting. You can enjoy the street lighting at night. So can I, without reducing your enjoyment of it. The other feature of the public good is non-excludability. Most goods are excludable so that the producer can say, if you don't pay for it, you don't get to consume it. If you are not willing to buy the apples, you will be excluded from their consumption. And that's why most markets work well. You cannot consume unless you are prepared to pay the producer. But certain goods and services are non-excludable. Street lighting would be a good example. It's not possible for the owner of the service to turn the street lights off when people come by who haven't paid. A lighthouse is a good example of a public good because it demonstrates our two key features, non-rivalness and non-excludability. Take non-rivalness first. If some shipping company's boats are kept off the rocks by the lighthouse, it doesn't stop other shipping companies also using the services. These are non-rival. It's also non-excludable. It's very difficult to see how once the lighthouse is provided, how people who will not pay for it can be excluded from its consumption. When lighthouses were first built and the fires were lit, they tried to charge shipping companies for the use of the lighthouse, but it became impossible to do so. And they began to charge ships in port. The problem is that once they've done that, they're not charging at the point of use. And so this is more by nature of a tax rather than charging for the good at the point of consumption.